Welcome to my shop. Dirty, messy, whatever. But today is not about shop. Today we're gonna do an update on what's in my bag for 2018. So, there's been some new additions in the bag. There's been some subtractions, stuff like that. So we'll go and start with, I'm still rocking the tailor-made tour bag. I don't know if you can see that. Still rocking the bag. I love it. It's a good bag. So we're gonna start with the big stick. And this has not changed from last year. So I'm still hitting the M1. It's 10 and a half degrees. And it's set at 10 and a half right now. The weights. One track is all the way forward for lowest spin, and this one's set more on the draw or on the draw side. So that's what the big stick is. The shaft. It's a Fujikura X X uh, Flex 60 gram. Like I said, that hasn't changed since last year. That's the same, it's been a good driver. I haven't had any complaints about it. If I could have did it, I would have did a nine and a half degree, but whatever. Newest addition to the bag is the Cobra F7 three wood, three to four wood. It is in the, actually this shaft out of my old three wood, that's what I put into this one because I don't know, they had deals on this one. And the main reason why I changed my three wood, main reason why I changed my three wood is because of these rails. So every once in a while, I'll get these shots and I'll hit them really heavy or they're in a really bad spot. And I just wanted the added security of these rails to help me through it so I don't just literally chunk the crap out of it. So this one is set in 13 and a half degrees in the draw setting. And weight on this one is all the way forward. There's the 20 gram weight in the front and the two in the back. So that's my three wood. That's the newest. The newest, newest, newest. Next one has not changed. It has changed a little bit as far as thing. So I am still rocking the Cobra Utility. It is still in 18 and a half degree draw. It's the adjustable iron, driving iron. I do love this iron. This is in the KBS Tour Stiff Flex, 110 gram. Okay. But this one, I changed a little bit. I put a one inch extension on it because I felt that it, on my other set of irons, it was the same length as my four iron. So I wanted a little extra club head speed. So I did that, and so far it's working pretty good. So, still rocking the two iron. No hybrid yet. That could be next year. So for, this is a new addition. This is probably a month and a half old-ish. So I ended up splurging and picked up these bad boys. TaylorMade P790s. Now I wish I would have had the black ones. They look so slick, but I'm happy with these. So the reason why I did um, new irons is because these have a forged face. So on my old irons, they were just regular face, regular everything. And I couldn't feel when I missed a shot where I hit on the face. This one I can. I know exactly where I'm hitting it and I can correct my swing as far as needed. The shaft, and these are from four iron to gap wedge. And the gap wedge is 50 degrees. So it's a little stronger than my old, my old gap wedge, which was 52. But the lofts on these irons are the exact same as my other ones. The shaft, I am doing dynamic gold. Can you see it? Yeah, dynamic gold, S300, 105, 105 gram shaft, 
Is that 105? It says 105. Uh, so this is the standard stiff flex, but there's a little bit of a um, stiffer tip in this. Just because they get a little bit more snap at the end. So for the most part, it is a stock shaft. I'm rocking stock grips right now. They will change next year because I've played one round close to the rain and they didn't work very well. So after that, I have my wedges. So these haven't changed. These are still pretty decent. These are tailor-made, tour preferred. This one is 54 degrees, so it's my sand wedge but I bent it to 55 and 11 degrees of bounce and then the shaft in this one is just KBS Tour and it's probably just a regular I didn't get fitted for these this is going to be next year's project is to get fitted for proper wedges that's that one and then same Lob wedge is still tour preferred, tailor made. This one's at 10 degrees of bounce, 60 degrees, and the shaft is still KBS Tour V, V wedge. Nothing special. Grips are all stock. Nothing special about that. But it still works. So, the one I'm really excited about is this that bad boy. I found myself a good putter. It's been a while. So I picked up the even roll ER2. Nothing hugely special. It's uh, so the other one I was using was a face balance putter, and I was noticing that my misses were on the left a lot. So I figured, well, I'm gonna try an arc. So this one's got a little, it's got a 15 degree toe down arc. Because nobody is really straight back and forth. I'm pretty close, but I'm not there. And this one is rocking a Super Stroke 3.0 Slim. A little smaller than my other one, but still very comfortable in the hands. And it's got the counterbalance weight. It's got a 50 grain counterbalance weight at the end of it. And so far, so good with this putter. I have no issues with this putter. I absolutely love it. So that's pretty much what's in the bag. Everything else, so I don't have a set ball that I use. Um, I have tested a few, so the Chrome Soft, the, the AVX, um, what else have I, oh, the uh, uh, Strixon Z-Star. Four, four piece. I even tested a, a Volvic S4 and so I'm still testing phases. I don't have one set ball right now. I just kind of play with what I feel right now. I'm not that serious. Like I don't have a set ball yet. So that's pretty much what's in the bag. Like I said, still rocking the tour bag. Um, I don't know what else you want to know. My one towel is Green Bay. That's pretty much it. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comments, stick them down the bottom. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, there is more videos coming. I've been kind of setting aside time to work on it. And that's pretty much it. So, next time. I will see you next time.